What's going on? What's going strong? What's going wrong? It is I. It's the chef boy. Cooking up another one. This one is about some sound. I've had a few people reach out to me. They've asked me the question, how can I make my car sound like yours? Well, if you have a Hellcat, there are literally two things you need to do. Um, now granted, I, no, no car, no two cars are gonna sound the same, but you know, if you're looking for the type of sound that I have, you know, the type of bass when the car starts up, when you're looking for the type of raspiness and aggression when you step on the gas pedal. If you want that kind of whine, then stick around and I will let you know what I did to get the sound package that I have with my car. Um, at the same time, I'm asking you to please subscribe, throw me a sub, um, like the video if you happen to like this video, hit that like button please. And of course, uh, if you could just drop me a comment, you know, just tell me uh, what kind of car do you drive? And what is the sound that comes out of your car that makes you go oh, every time you hear it? For me, it's the wine, right? I love my exhaust. I love how aggressive it is. I love how wide open throttle just sounds monstrous. And uh, I, I don't, I, I mean, I mean this with all due respect to the demon, but demonic. Uh, so how did I get my car to sound like this? Well, if you do not have a supercharger, then there's nothing you can do about the wine, right? Uh, if you have a supercharger, like again, a Hellcat, then really all you gotta do is change out that intake. I drove a stock Hellcat when I was out at Bradford Racing. Uh, I probably can link a video somewhere of some of my time at Bradford Racing or maybe the playlist of the things that happened at Bradford Racing. Those Hellcats, stock Hellcats, while they sound monstrous compared to other more normal vehicles, they sound muted compared to Kitten, right? This is my car, Kitten the Hellcat, and she sounds stupid. She just stopped. You know what I mean? So I think the biggest thing for that wine is how much air is being pulled in. So I have a leg maker intake, right? There, there is the JLT, I believe. I don't know too much about the JLT. I just know that I love the leg maker. It's got this really interesting design, a conical design that, uh, like a spiral design, you know, like a, like a, um, like a, like a, what do you call them things? It's a fish. What, what's the fish? Like a, well, I don't remember, I don't know what fish it is, but anyway, it has a really nice design that takes a lot of air in and then almost forces it down the neck of the intake. It's also got this really, really huge, um, intake, like, like the, 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 it, it's carbon fiber around the, um, the, the intake itself. So it's big on one side where air is coming in and then it kind of like forces it down. So the air comes whooshing through and now you're, oh, it comes whooshing through very quickly. And now you, you get that, you know what I mean? So that, that wine becomes. And I mean, it's like, I don't get, I don't get annoyed with that. I just don't, um, I just don't. So first things first, you gotta change out that intake, right? The stock intake is fine for race applications, but you know, if, if I mean, even even for race applications, the more air you can get in, the better. Um, the second thing, everyone knows, a mid muffler delete. Whether you have a 6.2 with a 2.4 liter supercharger or a 6.2 with a 2.7 liter supercharger, maybe you got a 3.0 supercharger, or maybe you don't have a supercharger at all. You got a scat pack, or you have. I'm gonna say, don't go lower than, a, than an RT, right? Yeah, I'll say don't go lower than a V8. Anything lower than a V8, please don't do this, but uh, the, the mufflers in the mid section, like the mid mufflers, that's why it's called a mid muffler delete, go ahead and remove those. Straight pipe it, basically, right? And oh my gosh, the sound. It's it's just, it, like, the, like the wine is one thing, but that exhaust, and actually you can hear the exhaust better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it frees up a lot more of that power. It, it limits more of the restriction. One thing you do have to know though, uh, it gets loud, right? So again, but I mean, you're not here because you know you, you, you don't want it to be loud. You know, my car is 
loud. She is loud. It's insane, right? Especially if I leave her in first gear and then like I'll upshift to second late. Um, again, this is a manual transmission car and automatics will force you to move into second gear faster. Manuals, I can stay in first gear if I want to, such as let me just downshift the first. Let me stay here. And as much as the, the, the gearbox doesn't like that, she can't do nothing about it. I told you to stay in first. An automatic will, you know, force you out of first. I'm gonna put myself in second now. So yes, those are the two things. Mind you, I have not tuned her yet. I did go to the dyno, and um, or I, I went to my, my, my guys over at um, Ralph and John's uh, Automotive in uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York, and they they did some, not, not, not work yet, but they did put her on the dyno, and she got a chance to run on the treadmill a little bit. So, um, so yes, yes, uh, there will be some tuning later. And I'm gonna tune probably for you know more power, obviously. But um, I'm gonna see how we can um, carve some more craziness into and out, and get some more out of that sound. So you want your uh, your Hellcat to sound like mine? You want to make your car sound like mine? That intake for that supercharger wine, and of course the mid muffler. So one more time. Swap out your intake, the stock intake, and you'll get more of that. And make sure that you do that mid muffler. Again, if you like videos like this, hit that like button. Please subscribe for more content like this. Hit that bell if you want to be notified of any videos that I'm releasing that are like this. And uh, I am the Chef Boy. You just got the rest of it.